So today has been a super long day, but I had the opportunity to pull this guy um, off set. His name is Siaka Masakoi. Siaka, tell me a little bit about how it's going today and how it is, you know, working with the director and. Well, you know. um, first off, it is hot. Yes. That's it's going hot. So I don't know if we can. Uh, <laughs> If, if that's the thing, but that's that's kind of how it's going. Uh, it's no, it's hot. going great. Yeah. Um, I'm, we're here working with Roger Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, he is amazing. He's fun. He makes it light and easy and allows yeah. you to to really create as an artist and as an actor. So that, that gives you a lot of freedom yeah. to uh, to explore mm -hmm. and bring more life or, or just your idea of life to this character. Uh, you know, because none of us were around in the 1800s. So yeah. The best thing we can do is just kind of really tap into our creativity as artists, and Roger yeah. just kind of, you know, he, he caters to that, which mm -hmm. is really refreshing. Right. Now, see, I could tell us a little bit about some of the movies you've been acting in, too. Well, You uh, came all the way from where? I came all the way from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Um, you know, my family originally is from Liberia. Yeah, which is great. Yes. I mean, this is your this first is time home. In 32 years. Yeah. I left here when I was four years old, but it was the first time here in 32 years, and, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Know? I'm sure. Like, How does it feel being home? You know, um, I was actually talking to my cousin about this, and it feels, um, it, it weirdly feels comfortable. Oh, because it's home. There's no place like home. But I didn't, like, growing up yeah, for yeah, so yeah, long yeah. over there, not really thinking about it, and then coming here, and, like, it just is. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, it's it's funny. You know, but probably because you've heard about it so much. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, I heard, heard about, about it. So my much. mom, my uncles and aunts and cousins, everyone was going back and forth most of my yeah. life. So, you know, not only did I hear about it and, and, you know, I hear it in their accents and all that stuff. So I wasn't, like, far removed from it right, to a certain right, extent. Right. It's just I never had a chance to, you know, come into the... Um, to come to the country until now. So. Right. Now, I know that... Um, Although your family's Liberian, you've always spoken with an American yes. accent. Um, yes. Has that yes. been challenging for you to try and speak with a you little bit what? of a Liberian accent? Yes, yes, it has. Um, it's one of those things that, because uh, like in America, there there is an idea of like a generic African accent, right? Which tends to be more like Ghana or Nigeria, Nigeria right? Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria, right? yeah. Um, <laughs> so right, hello. Yeah. Um, so so. So when you have that, and uh, it's like in my mind initially, it's like, oh, just to train for that, that's going to be easy. And then, like, I talked to my mother, mm -hmm. and I, like, was working with her, mm -hmm. and she's like, no, not Yeah, at all. that's not it. And mm -hmm. to finding the trick of, like, there is a monotone, yet it's because they're, you know, former slaves came from America. Yeah. And there are already Africans here. It's, it's closer. There, there are some words that sit in, you know, kind of, with with a, a thicker accent and somewhere some exactly like how yeah. we would say it yeah. in America, you know. Mm -hmm. So so it's like finding that rhythm and getting comfortable. With, like also most for me, most I'm learning that most uh, Liberians and just the accent itself is lower register yeah. than than what I'm used to speaking with. Right. And I, like most women that I hear here speak in a lower register than the women that I hear in uh, you know in, in America. This, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's something that helped me. I'm like oh you know having to do that. and that's honestly that's. That's been a joy and a, one of the biggest reasons why I love coming into acting is because you get to explore like this. Yeah. I mean, what other job do you get a chance to really listen to how an accent works so that you're able to use it right. properly for your job? That is true. What other job do you get a chance to just research the history of an area, of, you know, Yes, I can do it because that's my background, but if it wasn't, I get a chance, then I would get a chance to learn, and I already have learned more than I even thought. Yeah, So yeah, that's yeah. the thing that's like, you know. One of the things you've been doing on set, and you know, you, maybe you haven't even noticed it, um, and you know, I've come to you several times, yeah. for new actors like myself and um, uh, Sweets or Mussolini, who's playing mm -hmm. Harriet, you know, I've come to you and said, help us, help us, help <laughs> us, and you've been very, very helpful with that, and you know, I want to thank you for that. Yeah, I mean, course. that's very exciting, and just to have you um, mentor you know many of us on set you know that's the, and, and not even care you're just like so willing and open it's just it's amazing thank you for that of course of course yeah. I mean I I think it's I don't know I've always had this idea of like if we're working together I've been a big you know team sports guy yeah I'm all about it's the team it's you know like so for me it's kind of like um you know, like how if, if I can help you to help you know to make this project even more, um, you know, kind of 
to just just rise to a higher yeah. level like why not yeah like it doesn't take anything away from me to share to give back exactly anything. exactly if anything, like I, I i go with the idea of uh, for the most part, if I want to keep any of this, I have to give it away. Yeah, yeah, that's, and that's awesome. And that's the way that I see, and it, and it helps me because as I'm reminding anyone, you or, 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 or anyone else, like kind of, you know, little tricks of the trade, it's reminding me that like, oh, I know, I do know what I'm doing. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, Definitely. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Definitely try, knows what he's doing. You know, yeah. spend a lot of money learning though. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just, it, it just, it becomes refreshing and it reminds me again and, and those things that come up to the surface that, you know, you, you kind of don't think about because we get caught up in our monotony sometimes. Right, and right. And this way you're able to go, oh, you know, it's, yeah. right. and you see that in someone else and I go, and then it reminds me, you know, I, I am enough. Yeah, you know, yeah, I of just course. Just take my time and exactly. just settle in and, and be real and have fun. Yeah. And have fun. So you you play um, opposite uh, the Lisa lovely, Wu. beautiful, Amazing. talented Lisa sweet. Wu. Yeah. Just a, just and you can't sweetheart. keep your hands off of each other. How's well, that? I mean... <laughs> Part of this, part of the I've, character, I've heard. Wanna... I've heard the director tell you, keep your hands off of each other. Tell me about this. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh he's man. blushing. What did Lisa say? Yeah, I didn't ask her oh, yet. Oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a conversation with um, her soon. I'm, it's like, it's like, uh, she, she's like, she's like, she goes. I, I think it's like this. When, when you have to do something where it's our characters are are each other's first and only love. Right. I think that, um, you know, always respectfully and always with, you know, good communication with, you know, an actor you're working with. I mean, because at the end of the day, which is really beautiful, we're professionals. Yeah. You know? And we understand that, like, we can't, like, we can't cross lines, but at the same time, we still have to be, uh, like, honest and honor the work and what we're doing here. So, yeah. so it's fun uh, that it's easy when, when you find someone that you can work with that, that comes easily. Yeah, she's so you're cool. not Yeah, so yeah. you're not, like, kind of on eggshells to see, like, is this okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Like, uh, it, it, and, and that, and I've, trust me, I've been Wait, there. Do that last party. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've, I've been there before, and it's very, like... And and that's when that's when that's when it becomes like yes you have to go into your your uh, the teachings that you've learned in, in classes and stuff so you kind of have to go a little further inside. Yeah. But the fun part about this that I love is that when you get to work with someone else, especially like Elisa mm -hmm. or Van Vicker, where it's like they're giving you stuff back. Yeah. Like it makes your job so much yeah, easier. Yeah, of course, of and course. And all I want to do then is give back to them. Like yeah. I said, like you, the only way to keep it is to give it away. Right. So like. It's exactly. making it so easy for me. Yeah. Um, and I think another thing is we're both Aquarius is born in the exact same uh, day. So on the same day? The same you guys day. celebrate the same birthday. Same day. Get Zero, out of here. Zero, one, two, three. Wow. So, yeah. so the first day How we ironic. met, it's so crazy. Yeah. And so I think we kind of got like our personalities or like That's right off crazy. the crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. And we found that out. We were driving up to the set on the first day that I met. The first day I met her, mm -hmm. 6 a.m. We're like, you know, hey, nice to meet you. Get in the car and we're talking and... And I was like, oh, I'll do so and so because my birthday. And she's like, oh, okay, um, you know, the birthday's coming up. And she's like, oh, when's your birthday? I was twenty like, third. She's like, me too. And then that's crazy. Zero, one, and two, that three. was it. Yeah. yeah. So like from then on, we knew like it could yeah. be easy. And and then we knew we we could be able to communicate with each other any any way we feel. Yeah. You know because then that respect would be there, and we just kind of understand yeah. like kind of where our minds are if you believe in that stuff. <laughs> you know, but I do. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, it yeah. was the creative minds. Yeah. But yeah, so thank you so much. I know you got to run off thank and you. probably get some rest because you've been shooting all day. Yeah, I, yeah. Just, I just need to sit down Yeah. in the in, in the shade. Yeah, but you got to get out of my chair because I got to interview gotta, Van Vicker yeah, next. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> it's exciting. Hold on to your seats and your seat belts and straps. I don't know. Yeah. Hold on, just hold on. Just hold on. You got Van Vicker. I'm saying, he's going to sit in the hot seat, yes. right? Yeah. And it's even hotter because I've been leaving it. <laughs> it warm for <laughs> oh, God. All right, thank you. See Thank you, you so much You're for that. Welcome. Yeah, that was awesome. That was a great interview. <laughs> yeah, it was fun.